As you know, I have been a strong leader during some of the most challenging times in our short history. After the sudden death of our president, Zachary Taylor, I took on the challenge of pushing through the compromise of 1850 through Congress. There were many issues and problems with the compromise, but with determination and strong leadership, I was able to get the bill passed. You know I am not in favor of slavery. I know many of you find this to be against the normal thoughts of today, but I cannot change the way I feel. If elected, I will continue to limit the trade of slaves and only grant state and states that agree to be free states. During my presidency, I made great strides in foreign affairs. I believe the only way our great country will grow and prosper is to increase trade with foreign money. I requested Commodore Matthew Perry visit the country of Japan. He is tasked with the development of trade between our countries, and I am confident we will see progress and great opportunities. I have demonstrated my ability to be strong in the face of adversity. When the French leader Napoleon III tried to aim at the Hawaiian Islands, I sent a strong message regarding our position. We will not tolerate any such actions. As a result, Napoleon was forced to withdraw from the islands, guaranteeing their continued safety and freedom. I am not going to stand before you and tell you everything I have done because my term as president was perfect. I'm far from a perfect man. But I will tell you that I made decisions that I believe are best for our country. My decisions were made looking forward to a better future not to the past full of conflict, challenges, and struggle. I have the ability to continue the path of prosperity, to increase foreign trade, and push slave states toward becoming a united free nation. Please, elect me, Millard Fillmore, as your next president.